So we're here today at London Biggin Hill Airport for Air Charter Expo 24 with Eva Media. I'm here with Edwin Brennickmeyer. Edwin, welcome. Good to see you, Paul. Thank He's you. He's CEO of Orange Aviation, and as you can see behind us here, we have the wonderful PC12 NGX. NGX, that's NGX. right. NGX. Okay, exactly. maybe we can go over, take a little look. Let's do that. A bit more. Brilliant. Perfect. Okay, thank you. Right. So the first thing I really wanted to talk about is the engine. It's a PT6. It is. PT6 has been around a lot of years, but this is a kind of digital era PT6. It is. Um, so can you tell us some more about what that means for the operator and for the airplane's performance? Yeah, of course. Well, in simple terms, this is what you could call a FADEC engine, although it's yep. called EFEX. So it's okay. an engine and propeller electronic control system. Right, yeah, okay. Uh, so everything is fully automated. Yep. Uh, the great thing about this engine as well is there's an increased TBO. Right. Uh, yep. Once the pilot lands, all yep. the data is automatically transmitted back okay. to Pratt & Whitney via GSM. Yep. So right. the hot section of the engine is always on condition. And if there are any problems or cast messages for yep. the crew, you straight away get a message from Pratt & Whitney that tells you whether or not you're allowed to dispatch. So it makes right. it much more suitable for high utilization AOC type operations. Yeah. So this is all about Pratt & Whitney calling you up and saying, in 10 hours, you're likely to have this failure. That's it. We've got the part in place. We can fix it before it happens. Exactly, yes. So yeah. more efficient operations. It is. This electronic control of engine and propeller, does that hark back to their kind of PC21 technology and the turboprop that flies like a jet? I, that's a good question. I don't know, to be honest. Right, that's okay. That's a very different program. I'm not really sure exactly what's involved in that. Okay. Continuing um, on the propeller theme, though, mm -hmm. this has lots of blades. It does. Propellers don't always have that many blades. What's that all about? So having more blades is a little bit like having a lower gear on a car. Okay. So it gives you slightly improved takeoff and landing performance, better climb performance. Um, also the angle of the blades yep. makes it a little bit quieter. So it's better for noise abatement and yeah, it just increases right. efficiency of, of, of the you know, fuel flow, the engine, yep. everything really just much better. Right. So in noise abatement terms, you're, you're more friendly to your neighbors. Yes. Right. Okay. And also the other feature of this aeroplane is it has um, something called a low propeller mode. Right. So you can decrease the RPM of the propeller to 1550 RPM. Yep. Which again makes it quieter for the passengers. Uh, and yeah. the FADEC, okay. the automatics increase yeah. the engine power. So there's right. no change in aircraft performance in the cruise. Fuel flow range and everything else. It's pure noise abatement. So that's another, another little feature of the propeller. Fantastic. Okay. What I'd like to do is move around the back, take a look at that big old door at the let's back. Let's do that. Pretty yeah. unusual. Okay. Let's Perfect. go around there. Great. Excellent. So for me, the most unusual feature of the PC-12 is this, this big, big door at the back, which is just so unusual on, on a private airplane and on a relatively small airplane. What do people use it for? What's that all about? So it was used very much for medevac. And yep. It's still used for medevac to this day. Right. Um, it's also used for all kinds of things. So disaster relief, for example, in Haiti. Okay. Yep. Uh, you can load anything into the back at all. And we even had one customer had racing pigeons. Um, <laughs> I like <laughs> racing pigeons. And pigeons in the back of the airplane plane, as well. That's nice. That's so, nice. But you have a seat there. That comes out, presumably. The seat comes out. So yep. all the seats are quick release. Right. Okay. Um, even the, the, the more forward seats are also yep. quick release. Right. And there is a cargo net. Okay. So you can remove those seats. You can put a cargo net in, or you can put the cargo net in even deeper. Right. And exchange cabin space and seats for cargo and vice versa. Right. So there's a lot of flexibility on, on the seating okay. as well. Okay. You mentioned rough feel. Now, the undercarriage here is pretty rugged. Um, the tyre looks a bit soft. You're going to tell me that's normal. <laughs> that's completely normal. <laughs> right. Fantastic. So the tyres are, are designed to, to, for want of a better word, to be a bit squidgy so that the right. PSI is only 60. So very, very low pressure yeah. uh, tyres. They almost float above the mud and the grass. It's incredible. Okay. Right. Um, yeah. So that, that's really what they're designed for, for, okay. for, um, uh, for, for soft, wet, muddy grass. Right. A lot of aircraft have squat switches, yes. mechanical squat switches, yeah. which can get clogged with mud. Of course. Yeah. So the beauty of this aircraft is you have magnetic sensors. So again, you can put mud, you can put grass on them, and they'll still work perfectly. Right. And I guess anything thrown up from there is just going into space because the tail's away up there. It does. Right. Yep, that's it. Okay. You fly the PC-12. Do you fly it from grass? Do people really do that? I love flying it from grass. Do you? That's what the aeroplane is designed for, and it's so easy. Right. You know, yeah. I, have a, I have a small, light aeroplane, and most people think, well, the small aircraft surely be better on grass than something as big as this. Yeah. But the reverse is true. So right. my aeroplane has very small wheels, yep. and it has a big engine above it. Okay. So the nose will tend to dig in, yes. whereas this aeroplane just floats above 
the grass and there's absolutely no issue at all. Right, yeah. So it's so much easier to fly. And even the nose wheel actually is 60 PSI. So is even it? the weight of the engine above yep. the nose yeah. just copes with it beautifully. So as a pilot then, last thing, what's it like to fly? Is it fun? It's, a, it's I think again, it's, it's all, everything about this aeroplane is about versatility. Right. And that's the beauty of flying this aeroplane is you just know pretty much any situation you throw at this aeroplane, it'll cope with. Yeah. Um, so if you're flying to a big international airport, if you're flying a jet, you know, the, the speed profiles of this aircraft yeah. are the same as a jet. Right. Um, mm -hmm. So you can fly in the big international airport. You can also fly into a small grass strip. You can fly yeah. very, very slowly, land very short. You yeah. just know, you have the confidence flying this aeroplane, you know it can do it. Fantastic. And it's a solid, stable IFR platform. So it's a very simple aircraft to manage and a very easy aeroplane to fly. It's a real pleasure. Brilliant. Edwin, thank, thank you, you so much. much. Paul, thank you.